Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to the second We Are Reading Stories. As you know, my name is Tang, and I work with an organization called ARCO, which stands for Immigrant and Refugee Community Organization. Um, today we are going to be reading a story called Why the Tiger is So Bitter Against the Cat, translated by Martina. Stories, um, there are some vocabulary that I want us to know. And the first word is called the first word is called clumsy. According to the dictionary, it means awkward in movement or in handling things. So let's just say for the let's just say you are carrying water and you don't you don't carry it carefully that the water water spill on a on a floor. That means you're being clumsy. So that's that word mean. And the second word is called jer. According to the issue, it means make rude and mocking remarks. So for example, like let's just say somebody throw you a ball and you didn't catch it, and they make fun of you, say say that you you have a little hand or you have butter fingers. That means they are jeering at you. And the third one is called pupil. According to the dictionary, pupil means a student in school. Now it doesn't have to be in a student in school. It could also be, let's say you are um, you are learning something from your um, some somebody who knows how to play soccer, for example, and you're learning from them. So that means you are. A pupil of uh, a pupil of him, the person you're learning from. So it doesn't have to be in school. It can be also in in soccer, in sports, um, in workplaces. And the fourth word I want to I want us to know is the word called errands. According to the dictionary, it means a short journey undertaken in order to deliver or collect something, especially on someone's be behalf. So for example, like, when your mom or your dad said, you know, go get some eggs or go get something for me, that means you are running an errand. Like maybe your mom said, go and go to the store and buy from, buy some milk. For for me, then you are running, uh, and when you do that, um, you are running an errand for the, for for your mom. And then the fifth word that we want to um, learn is called laughing stock. According to the dictionary, laughing stock means someone who is being made fun of. So basically, in your in your school. Some people, um, maybe you see a student being made fun of from your friends. Although you shouldn't do that, you should not make fun of um, student or anybody. Um, for example, you will see somebody who is making fun of. Um, that means, and that person is called a laughing a laughing stock of the school. Now, don't make fun of anyone, but you know, um, that's just an example I want I want to provide. Alright, let's continue with our vocabulary. The next word is called surpass. Surpass means exceed or, or be greater than. Um, some, sometimes, for example, like, um, if you look at again soccer or a team sport, um, you know there's a ranking, ta ranking table, I just, um, since I know more about soccer, um, I want to use soccer example. Um, for them, like, um, if you look at their soccer table, you will see Manchester United is the first place, um, Chelsea the second place, Man City the third place, something like that. And then when Man City pass, I guess, pass over Chelsea, he, you call surpass.
because they are they are uh, getting better or like they are greater than Kelsey, the the team for Kelsey. So that's got surpassed. Another word is called apprentice. Apprentice is a person who is learning a trade from a skilled employer, having agreed to work for a fixed period at low wages. So this word is close to um, the word pupil, pupil that we discussed before, but this is more like you agree to do you agree to do something, and he will he has agreed to teach you. So that's I think that's the difference. And the, the another word is called doe. Doe is very easy to explain. Um, it is a female deer. And another word, maxims. This this word is um, pretty unusual, but um, it's really a good a good word to, a good uh, word to know. Um, according to the dictionary, it means a short, PT statement expressing general truth or rule of conduct. So it's just a short statement that you know that 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 express something something that is true or maybe a rule. For example like a maxim could be um everyone should live to the golden rule or another maxim could be being nice is the most important characteristic as a student something like that and then the last one we want to ask to know is I want us to know is the word called dung dung is the according to the dictionary it means the excrement of animals manure and if I use the word uh, sim simple words to describe that it, it means poop so the poops of um, an animal. So that's like basically uh, to put it basically. All right. Now that we know some uh, some of the vocabulary vocabulary in the story, uh, we'll discuss some pre question to think about so that we could be get in tune with our story. So the first question I have for the pre question is, what is a tiger? Well, tiger is it's like a cat, but it's very bigger than a cat. It could eat um, meat. They don't eat vegetables; they eat meat, and they hunt. They run really, really fast sometimes. And the second question is: Have you seen a tiger before? For me personally, I haven't seen tiger before in real life, except in zoo or something. But I know that there are people who have seen tiger before, who have fought with tiger. Um, I'm not sure what year was it, but rec um, like maybe four, five years ago, somebody fought with a tiger and they they won. Uh, so that's there's the news before. So, um, have you seen tiger before? And if you have seen one, what is the experience look like? Were you scared? Or do you just see it in um, the tiger and the zoo, or uh, the zoo? So, yeah. All right. Another question I have is, what do you think about cat? Do you like a cat? For me personally, I would choose a dog over a cat. I feel like cat are very, I don't know, anno some not annoying, but sometimes they think that they are, um, you know, have. I love ego that I, ego and I don't like that and I like dogs because uh, I feel like they can protect us more than the cat. What about you? Do you like a, a cat? Uh, have you have a cat as a pet before? And one of the questions I really I really think uh, I really think interesting is this question: Why do you think people say tiger is a cat? And the cat is not tiger. So by that I mean like if you look at what the scientists say, um, tiger is tiger is in a cat family, and and they don't they don't, they don't say a cat is in tiger family. So, but why is that? You know, 
Maybe this this might be the reason why the tiger is bitter against the cat. I don't know. And the last question I have for us, um, what do you think about the, the story? What do you think is going to be the story? Um, do you think it will be the cat tricking the tiger or the cat being loved by humans so the tiger was be bitter against uh, the cat? And why do you think the tiger hates the cat for that? So that's something to think about. Alright guys, I think we are ready for our story. Why the tiger is so bitter against the cat. Although the tiger was big and strong and fierce, he was so clumsy in his movement that he became the laughing stock of the jungle. Look at that clumsy tiger! The animals jeer. He was so stuffed to death as he's so clumsy that he cannot catch any prey. The tiger felt very unhappy until he remembered his cousin, the cat. So he went to his cousin and said, Cousin, please teach me all your methods of hunting and catching prey, and I will serve you faithfully for three full years. The cat agreed. So the tiger became the purple of the cat, and although they were cousin and he the elder, he showed the cat every respect due from a purple to his teacher. He swept the house, he prepared the meals, he ran errands, he accompanied the cat wherever he went, and he learned his lessons. In short, the tiger was the perfect pup pupil. The cat at first was a good teacher, but later he became jealous of his own pupil. The tiger mastered all the tricks I teach him, he reflected, and if I teach if I teach all I know, he will rival me. Nay, he will surpass, surpass me, for he is stronger and bigger than me. So he, he decided that he would not teach the tiger one special trick. The two years of apprentice apprenticeship drew to an end and the tiger respectfully asked sire teacher have i learned everything everything replied the cat untruthfully the tiger thanked the cat and went away joyfully the tiger now starting started hunting on his own but he was so disappointed with himself for as he couched the to spring on a doe, the latter seemed to know that she was in danger and ran away. He again crouched to spring on a bullock, and again the tiger failed to get at his prey. Hide yourself well and surprise your prey was one of the maxims of the his, teacher, his teacher, the cat, and he had hidden himself well behind a bamboo thicket. But both the doe and the bullock knew that he was there. He was puzzled and crouching as if so to spring. He considered his position carefully. At last he realized that the thud, thud of his tail as he switched it up and down served as a warning to his would-be be victims. It is that treacherous cat! He cried out in anger. He never taught me to switch the tail about without making a noise. His anger increased when he remembered how silent was the cat's tail when on the hunt, and he swore that he would eat up the cat, nay, even the cat's dung, if the cat could not be found. And from that day onward, the tiger has been looking for the cat, who, however, is so cunning that he is still alive. In fact, the cat, in fact, the cat will not give his old pupil, even though even the doubt of full certification satisfaction of finding his tongue and so he always cover up his tongue with earth or ash all right guys I hope you can join the, um, the story 
So, in order to uh, understand more of the story, um, help you digest the story, I want to ask a, 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 some of I want to ask some post questions. And the first question is, like I asked it, uh, what do you think about the story? And that's the second question I want to ask is that, why did the tiger go to the cat? Um, that you will, if you don't remember, it will be in the beginning of the story. And then what did the tiger promise to the cat? Remember, um, the ti remember the tiger was want to learn something from the cat. So, what did he promise promise to do for the cat so the cat could teach his trick? And then in the story, you um, do you, you uh, I don't know if you remember, but the cat did not teach everything. So why did the cat? What what trick did the cat not teach the tiger? And why? And why is that? And there's an, uh, four more post post questions. Another question I have is that how did the tiger know he was not taught everything? That's kind of in the at the end of the story. Um, at the end of the story, the the tiger knew that he was not taught everything. But how did he know? What what went wrong during his hunt? And another question I have for us is that in this sentence, in fact, the cat will not give to his old poo poo even the doubtful scientific shin of finding his tongue, and so he always cover up his tongue with art or ash. What does the phrase doubtful satisfaction mean? Another question I have is this is this is not uh, there's no right or wrong answer to this question. So the question I, I want to ask is that uh, do you feel bad for the tiger or do you think he deserve it? Maybe the tiger deserve it deserve to be tricked because he went to the cat who is smaller, maybe even younger. Or maybe you, you or maybe you feel bad for the tiger. So tell us why. And the last question I have for you guys is that, um, what do you think about the cat? Do you think he was selfish, or was he smart for not teaching the tiger the um, the, the the trick that he did not teach? And why? Why do you guys think that? So, to end our to end this story, I want to ask, uh, I want to challenge you to do an activity. So this activity is um, just storytelling and rewriting the story. So on the first round, without listening back the story that I just read to you guys, write down what you remember. And comp and if you have a brother or sister or friend that listen that's listening to the same story, just um, ask him to also to um, ask him or her to write what he or she remember and then compare who knows who remember more and in the second round I want us to I want I, I want you guys to look at what you wrote and add details that might be different from the story so one of the ideas idea could be that um, the cat was really a dog tricking the tiger or maybe the cat you know the tiger ate the cat and the cat became so scared of the tiger that it becomes those domestic, domestic animal. I don't know. Just be creative. But make sure it's uh, the details are different from the story. So just like write, write. So basically, write a new story using the cat and the tiger. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's um, reading. I truly enjoy reading it and. I hope you guys join next next week uh, as I read some more stories. That basic uh, that is that is from uh, that.
that 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 comes from Burma. All right, have a nice day, guys, and see you next week.